Well, we're coming now to chapter 1, verse 23. We're in the midst of this conversation that's taking place between those critics who have come from Jerusalem representing the religious authority, the religious elite, who are trying to find out some information on this strange character who's out baptizing along the Jordan River. They've asked a series of questions, and John has responded, but in each case, he's emphatically told them who he is not, and yet we've yet to see him announcing and affirming who he is. But of course, now we come a little closer to that when we find in verse 23 that John uh, says, Fe is the word here. It's from fe me. It means to say, it's a little less uh, frequently used than the more common word in the New Testament, lego, I say, but this is also uh, somewhat frequently used in the vocabulary of the New Testament. It's a me verb. This is interestingly the imperfect tense. So actually, though it's normally translated, he said, a little bit more accurately would be rendered, he was saying suggesting maybe that John had given this response multiple times and they simply weren't willing to accept it. They wanted something more precise. And so John simply retreats once again into this quote that's taken from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, quoting here the Septuagint version of it, the Greek of the Old Testament, ego I phone, you know the word phone, of course, the word for sound in English, but uh, here it uh, means voice. So, I voice. There's no verb in this. It doesn't say I am the voice, although it's implied, of course, in the way the sentence is structured. I voice. This is from the verb boao, which means to cry out and could be used even to describe an infant crying. It's a notion of just crying out loudly not necessarily rationally, although certainly in the case of John, there's a certain rationality, obviously, to what he's doing. But here we have ego, phone, boontos. This is a participle, crying, we would render it, usually translated the voice of one crying, but the word for one there, the article that might normally be used with a participle, is absent. So I voice of crying, really, literally, is the way it reads. I am a voice of crying, not even of one crying, but just the voice of crying. In te eremo. Eremos is the um, word for desert or wilderness. It's a feminine noun of the second declension, which is why it has this feminine article used for uh, used with it, used in the dative here. So in to in te eremo, in the desert. Voice, he says, of crying in the wilderness. This word, euthanata, is from euthano, or euthuno, I should say, which uh, means to make straight, to straighten something out, as if you'd pull a string taut or something like that. So to make straight, make a straight. Tain hodon, path or road, highway could be rendered. Make straight, which is a way of simply saying make it easily passable, prepare it, is really the normal notion of this. Make straight the way, kariu, of the Lord. The word the is not there, but it's uh, uh, certainly uh, referring, of course, to the coming Messiah, as uh, would be clear from reading the uh, prophecy of Isaiah, and certainly that's what John has in mind. And then returning to uh, John, the uh, apostle's narrative here, uh, kathos, just as a pen, he said, Isaiah, Isaiah, ho prophetes, the prophet. So just as Isaiah, the prophet, had said, uh, voice of crying in the wilderness, make straight, make smooth, make passable the, the road, the path of the Lord.